Seriously, would y'all believe that this was a desktop PC? Check this thing out, man. Intel inside. Let's do it. Okay, I'm glad y'all here for this, man, because this is something I didn't know existed. Now, I know Samsung has made their DeX uh, systems with the, uh, you know, you plug in your phone. I actually have a Samsung DeX in my drawer right here that I hardly ever use. But this right here, this is gonna get some use. This is a mini PC. As far as specs go, I'm not gonna go too deep into this, man. Y'all can click the link in the description. You can read these specs over and over and over if you want to. Uh, I'm just here to make sure this thing works and it works for what I need it for, which is basic internet browsing, maybe a program or two. I'm not expecting too much, but we're gonna see once we get into it. But yeah, man, it's a, a Windows 10 mini PC with no fan. It's a fanless mini PC, 64 bit with four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. Yeah, uh, my mind is blown right now. <laughs> I, I, I get it, phones and tablets are smaller than this and they are considered computers, which they really are, they're very powerful things. But when we talk about a desktop computer, um, yeah, this is not what I had in mind. But this right here, man, okay, so I was looking online, it actually comes with a uh, with your power brick right here, and it's just got your standard DC uh, outlet right there, and it comes with a mounting bracket. That way you can kind of just mount it on the back of a monitor. Yes, you're gonna need to get a monitor. Now it does come with some screws, so I'd imagine you just kind of screw it onto the back of your monitor or your TV, or even a, a wall or under a desktop if you want to, because this thing is so small or you don't have to mount it at all, but you just screw it on like that. And this has a hook right here. And then you just kind of hook it on just like this. And it's there, it's, it's mounted right on the back of the monitor. So it's the most minimalistic setup uh, you can probably find. But let's take a look around this thing because I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, that's all that's in there. All right, so let's take a look around. We got your DC input right here, USB 3.0 right here, then you got an HDMI out right there. Uh, then you got your network input, and then it's a headphone jack, what? Looks like a reset button if you look, stick a little pin in there. Uh, what else? I don't know what these little deals are right here. But on this side, you have an SD card slot, which is kind of nice because my laptop does not have a, uh, a USB card input or reader. Uh, then you got some USB, uh, this looks like 2.0. So you got two regular USBs right here and then you got your power button and that's it. Uh, you got your Intel inside logo on the top of there, your model number. Man, let's get this thing hooked up, man. Let me see if I can find an HDMI cable. Hey, sorry to bother you while you are uh, watching the video and everything, but this is important, man. You know what would be really, really cool? Is if you would like hit the subscribe button. Yeah, it's down there, right there. Yeah, hit that. And then, you know, that little bell next to it. Why don't you hit that bell too and, and click on those notifications because you might want to know when I upload a new video from time to time. I do them actually pretty often. It'd be great if you'd watch them. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. All right, see ya. We now return to your regular programming. Okay guys, I wanted to save you the trouble of all the whole setup stuff and the setup screen. It sets up just like a regular Windows PC. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, my mind is still blown. I do have my laptop still plugged into the, uh, the dock system here. So let me go ahead and unplug that. And then, so you saw the lights just went off. Let me put this down and I will show you that I'm actually hooked up to uh, HDMI into the back of my monitor. And here's the power cable right here. So it's pretty much plug and play. All you gotta do is plug the, plug in the power cord, then you plug in the HDMI into your, uh, your actual monitor or a TV or whatever you're gonna be using as your display. And it is simply plug and play. So, so far I've got this thing hooked up to Wi-Fi, and I put in a dongle for my uh, Logitech keyboard and mouse set here, but I decided not to use it. So I went ahead and tested out the Bluetooth of this thing and uh, I connected, that's what screen I'm on right now. You can't see it right now because it's so bright, but I'm using my Microsoft Precision Mouse and my Bluetooth Microsoft keyboard right here, and it is working flawlessly. So let me get out of this. So we got Wi-Fi hooked up, we got uh, Bluetooth going, so that works well. And yeah, everything seems to be working flawlessly. Now this display, uh, this is an ultra wide screen. This is not the ideal screen or uh, screen ratio 
for this particular PC. Uh, I think this one does more of a 16 by nine or something like that. This is like some crazy resolution. I forget what it is. So if you're using a regular monitor or a uh, TV, you will not have any problems with the display. It looks really nice here. I can just see that the aspect ratio is uh, stretched out quite a bit. So let's see uh, what kind of programs it can run. I've already downloaded uh, Chrome on this thing. It comes with the whole Windows 10 suite. So it, all, it comes with the, uh, the Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge. Uh, I'm one of those people that, um, yeah, I'm not a Microsoft Edge guy. So, <laughs> so I, I choose to use uh, Google Chrome here. But you know what? It'll run Chrome. So let's just, uh, let's go to Amazon real quick. Dot com. All right. So we're going to Amazon. And the internet browser, yeah, it, you know, it, it is a little sluggish. That I, I, can, I can see that it is a little, little sluggish because my internet works great. Uh, it's just the processing is just a little sluggish. But once again, this is about $150, $160 PC we're working with here. And this is this is more of a backup PC. Maybe you got a shop or something where you need an extra PC. Or in, in my case, I'm going to be using this as a backup because my uh, laptop that I use to run all of this and do all my editing, once I start rendering a video, it pretty much bogs down the rest of the functionality in my computer. Uh, so I, I'm going to be using this as a secondary computer. So I'll just switch over to display. I'll change the HDMI on the screen here and I'll be connected to this mini PC. And then I can do my web browsing and still check my emails and stuff like that without having too many hiccups. Okay, so it's taking a little bit of time to download YouTube. There's a lot of data being pulled from the from the interweb here. So uh, yeah, uh, everything looks fine. I mean, once it, once the page gets loaded, you're good to go. Let's try to watch a video real quick. Yeah, we're definitely looking a little sluggish on the, uh, on the Google Chrome side. So I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this because it's just a little too sluggish. So let's go to Microsoft Edge, see how well that runs as far as internet browsing. Now it seems to open up apps and programs pretty quickly. It's just as far as, you know, downloading the data, uh, I think, uh, I think we're a little on the sluggish side. So from what I'm experiencing, internet browsing on both uh, Microsoft Edge and Chrome is a little bit on the sluggish side. Okay, I took a little break because I needed to download Microsoft Office just because I wanted to show you that you can actually download programs and use them. So I got the full Office suite down here. I'm gonna open up Word first. And like I said, this is the type of PC you would want uh, as a maybe a backup or a secondary computer, like at a, at a shop or something like that. And um, let me see here, let me open up a document that I already have going, channel trailer. Okay, so this is the script for my channel trailer. All right, so we got full word here on this ultra wide screen. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, everything's working just like normal. And while I got this up, let me go ahead and open up a PowerPoint uh, just so we can see that in action at the same time just to see how fast this thing is. Now it is not the fastest, but it's handling these actual programs very well. It really just seems like it has a hard time with the internet based stuff like Chrome and uh, uh, Explorer Edge or Windows Edge. So let me go ahead and create a new PowerPoint, okay. So everything's coming up pretty snappy and it's got a pretty decent response time with my clicks and everything. So everything's working just like a normal computer would. Uh, we've got Bluetooth, we've got Wi-Fi, uh, you got your internet browsing, even though it's a little bit on the sluggish side, you got full programs. Now, I will not be doing any editing on this thing because that requires me to download Adobe Premiere Pro and it's a power hungry program. So I'm not even gonna try it with this, but you can see you can definitely run your basic uh, Windows programs with this. So this thing is fanless. So there's not gonna be any noise associated with this thing. Um, it's been on for about two or three hours now and it's just warm. It's not hot at all. It's just warm. So that's pretty outstanding that it can do everything that it's done and only be warm and not be super hot. And this is it, man. This is the entire package. You get this and the power brick and that's really all you need because it's plug and play. All you got to do is find yourself a monitor and a TV and you're good to go. Like I said, you got that memory card slot there, two USB 2.0s and then a USB 3.0 on this side. You got Bluetooth built in. Then you got your networking input right there and an HDMI and a headphone jack. What more could you ask for for 150 bucks in the form of a PC? Look, I'm definitely no expert when it comes to PCs, but wow, I'm kind of just blown away. It's crazy how, you know, computing has gotten so small these days. Anyway, Anyways, I gotta get out of here, but if y'all had a good time checking out this video with me, you go ahead and throw those emoji hands up in the comment section, and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You didn't have a good time? 
All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?